choir. I appreciate you doing such a good job. And, and my little buddy there. All right. All right. We're gonna find, oh, you coming up? Okay. All right. Okay. That's Bible. Okay. All right. Well, tell you what. This time, uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to have an altar prayer here. If you just feel led and you'd like to come and Sister Pace plays something on the piano, I encourage you to do so. Um, but, you know, it's just a time to, uh, 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 or a brief moment where we can just get close to the Lord. If you want to come down here and kneel in the front pews or just down here at the altar, feel free to. But uh, I encourage you to do that. And uh, then afterwards, we're going to take up our oneness offering. Uh, right after prayer, we're going to just greet one another, hug one another, shake hands, and all that good stuff. And we'll have two of our young people take up our Awana's offer. So at this time, let's, uh, if you just feel that, you're just going to come here. God, as we come here this morning, God, we want to, uh, to 
remember all those that have an unspoken request this morning. Lord, there's something that they're praying for right now that's just between you and them. And God, as we come to you this morning, we just want to lift them up to you. God, we want to remember our military and, and, and our leaders of this nation. God, that we just pray for them. God, most of all, we want to remember those that don't know you from the free part of the sea. Those who are sick, sin sick, Lord, that are lost and, uh, on their way to eternal damnation. God, this morning we pray for them and their hearts will be convicted and they'll come to know you before it's everlasting too late. God, we pray for the believers this morning. God, we pray that we'll be fired up, that we'll be excited, that we'll rejoice in your word and excited about what you're doing in our lives. And God, that we just won't leave it here, but we'll take it with us and tell others. Now, Lord, as we come to you in this service this morning, God, we want to see you glorified, you lifted up. And God, may everything that we do and say here be in honor of Christ's name. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Let's greet one another. Let's stand and just shake hands and hug one another. You know, I mentioned just in a prayer about kids and uh, our youth over here, they uh, was over there at the grocery store parking lot and they took up for the homeless children. Sort of appreciate that over 600 pounds worth of food they took up of canned goods and all different Amen. stuff. Amen. This is going to be distributed to the homeless people. Amen. In fact, some of the people came into the grocery store and uh, actually went and bought groceries for them to, to give to the homeless. And some just gave money. I think y'all had $40 or something. 40, almost 50 Almost $50 that they said go buy some groceries and all like that. So, and uh, we're going to continue taking up uh, uh, money or, or uh, food can items and all like that for the kids. I think you're going to have something back there tonight. And, uh, you know, that, that really means a lot when you can help feed the homeless. You know? Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles with you this morning, please turn to Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17. And, uh, or you can use your handouts uh, if you got one of those handouts. If you if you don't have a handout, Phil, do we got any handouts? Yes. Okay, if you would, just raise up your hand and, and Phil will make sure you get one. Okay, everybody? Got it? Okay. All right, all's good. Okay, Acts chapter 17. We're going to continue in our series of messages, Get Fired Up. You know, there's a lot of things that we can get fired up about. We can get fired up about uh, all sorts of things, uh, uh, from TV to sports to to things that we're going to do or, or jobs or whatever it may be. We can get fired up about many things. You get fired up about Thanksgiving, amen? Amen. 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 I know I know. some of you have already mentioned me that you're uh, looking forward to shopping, not so much the turkey, but the shopping this week. You're fired up about it, right? You've got to be fired up if you're going to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and go shopping. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? Amen. Amen. But, you know, there's another thing that we're going to talk, and that's the whole series of this message. It's about getting fired up about God. I mean, God is so good to us. Amen? Amen. And we need to be fired up about, about God. Now, the title of this message this morning is, You Think You Know Everything. Anybody know anybody like that? <laughs> Several. Okay, let's all stand for the reading of God's Word and then our good confession. Acts chapter 17, begin with verse 1. And when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, and there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the Scriptures. In other words, witnessed to them, preached in, in the Thessalonica, which you know is First and uh, Second Thessalonians in the Bible. Open and alleging that Christ must need have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. And some, everybody say some, some. and some of them believed and consulted with Paul, in other words, believed what Paul said, and Silas, and of the devout Greeks, a great multitude, which means many of uh, uh, the chief women, not a few. The Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of a base sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city in uproar, and assaulted the house of Jason, who was a believer, and sought to bring them out to the people. Jason was a believer. He was having Bible studies in his home. Uh, Paul and Silas had probably been there. 
and all like this, and, and he was a good Christian man. But some of them did not like what Paul and Silas was preaching. And basically, to tell you what happened, they sent out a SWAT team to try to destroy Paul and Silas. They wanted to capture them and, 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 and arrest them. And they said they were stirring up trouble, which was not possible. Verse number 6, And they found them not, and they drew Jason and certain brethren unto rulers of the city, crying, These have turned the world upside down, come hither also. 